You know what my friends used to call me, Terry? What's that? Papa. Papa? Yeah, Papa. Papa Willie. <laughs> gosh. You know the best part about this bike, too? What's that? The brakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Carmen's field trip where we are going to the park that's close by our house. We're making a butterfly way station for monarch butterflies. Carmen is here with me. We're getting the popsicles loaded up and we're gonna meet her class at the top of the hill where we're gonna start digging in the dirt and planting flowers that monarch butterflies love. Carmi, how excited are you for this field trip today? I'm really excited because um, I wanna go there and just like see all the monarchs that come there. I know. So like, it's just so much better for them. Like, cause people are always cutting down like milkweed and like flowers that monarch and they plant flowers that monarchs don't like. And so if they don't have like flowers that monarchs don't like, then they can't drink nectar and they can't then they'll survive, die. Huh? Yeah. We'll have to check on this monarch way station throughout the summer. Yeah. Okay. So over here we've got ice in our little cooler so we just gotta run inside and grab the box of the popsicles get those loaded and we will head up to the park okay just getting the popsicles put them right here in this cooler I thought we were putting them in the back of the car no we gotta go in the cooler so they stay frozen let's stick that one in there all right there's the cooler we're ready can you lift it yeah oh you're tough I'm lifting a cooler and my back <laughs> you're extra tough no, my backpack's not that heavy. Oh, that's good. Oh. Can you bring them more carefully? All right. There we go. We just got finished helping Carmen's class finish up this Monarch Way Station, and it turned out amazing. The kids all did a fantastic job. They each bought a flower to contribute to this, and it looks beautiful. The sprinklers are gonna come on tonight, water all this, keep it alive, and I know all the Monarchs that are traveling through Utah are gonna love it as well. It turned out so good. Sprinkles will hit it, and it will keep it growing. Monarchs love all of these flowers that are in here. They have all of these plants in here. And these are all plants that monarchs love, right, Carmen? Yep. So we've got a butterfly bush right here in the middle. Got lots of milkweed throughout the middle. Just different flowers that they love. This one over here. Show us your flower, Carm. Yeah, this one's mine. See, my name tag is there. This is the flower that Carmen planted with her name tag on it so we can come back and check on this flower every single week and make sure it's staying alive. Yep. Awesome. Did you have fun today with all your friends? Mm -hmm. Super fun to hang out here, huh? Yeah. It was so fun to spend the day with Carmen in her class. I'm so grateful that I get to have these opportunities to go on field trips with my kids and um, have these memories. This is something Carmen will have forever. She will never ever forget doing this. And we got to hang out here, play on the toys, have lunch together. Her class has gone back to school. I checked Claire and Carmen out. It's Friday, so we're just gonna go hang out and have a fun weekend. What do you guys think we should do this weekend? Do you have any fun ideas? Go eat Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A? Yep. All right, Carmen, do you have any good ideas? Well, we could see if there's like an indoor pool or something that we could it's gonna be so nice this weekend, like 80 degrees. It's feeling like yeah. summer. So we could go. Maybe to we should pool. get the big water slide out. We have a big water slide. Ooh, huge that would be fun. Slide. Oh yeah, the slip and slide. Bring it here. Yeah, yeah, we could bring it here. Put it on these great big hills. You guys, this is where we did the ice blocking last summer. If you have not watched our ice blocking video, go watch it. It's hilarious. I will link it below. Definitely a video not to be missed. Guys, I got off work just a little bit early today and I got a phone call from a store called The Bike Peddler. We took our uh, our bikes down to get fixed about a month ago. They finally got it done. They sent me a text said, come down and get your bikes or we're gonna start charging you a dollar per day per bike. And I was like, no, don't, don't charge me a dollar per day per bike. That's like 50 cents a week for crutches. And so anyways, we're gonna run down to get those bikes. Uh, apparently they're running out of room. Terry wants to go riding anyways. She's over here munching on a few Swedish fish. <laughs> I'm excited for my bike to be ready. And are you gonna eat Swedish fish and ride your bike at the same time? Yeah. 
I knew you would. Gives me energy to keep going. <laughs> I can't you, run. You get you a little pouch on the front. You could pour your Swedish fish <laughs> into there. Just eat one and then keep pedaling. I can't run, so I'm hoping that my bike will be my form of exercise for well, the let's, summer. Let's go get these things and uh, we'll try them out. Apparently, Clint needs driving lessons again. And maybe you should have went to the DMV with Austin. No, no, so that's the problem with having a tall truck because you can't see what's in front of you. When I saw this pulling up, I was like, crap, I don't want to knock over the rent railing or whatever. So I was <laughs> getting close, but I got like five feet right here. That's all right. It's better safe than sorry. You know. He says they raised his seat up, but I think he just got shorter since we no, rode these last. No, every one of the workers is like six foot nine. <laughs> look at this, they raised my seat up. You can see where it is, look. Oh yeah, they did raise it. But maybe you just shrunk. Oh. More. <laughs> I couldn't even hardly touch when I was on the ground. <laughs> Good night. You're obviously a lot taller than you are. I gotta go get one of those softer seats. I know. These seats Seems are like brutal. They're teeny tiny. Hardly any surface area. I'm sitting on a stone. <laughs> All right, tailgate's covered. I don't have like, I'm not like a legit biker guy. <laughs> Mountain biker. Those guys have like special like Dikine pads to cover the tailgate. It's not me. Yeah, we need I one of those. I just have a moving blanket. <laughs> and so it works. Let you put your front tire over the back without scratching your tailgate. Do these things not have kickstands? No, they don't. Beautiful. Yeah, they're going opposite directions. It's great. <laughs> what do you say we hop on them and take them for a spin? You want to? Yeah. Mine's in, mine's in that gear like I'm going to climb a mountain. I need like, to try and like shift. Like super loose? Yeah, super loose. I need to try and shift. I didn't know how to shift this thing really. There's two different gears on it. I don't know what does what. Apparently we need bike riding instructions as well. Definitely been a few years since we've ridden these bikes. They've just been in our garage, broken for a while now. So I'm excited to get out here and try them out again. Clay's relearning how to ride a bike. That saying, how does it go? That it's like riding a bike, you never forget how to ride one? Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it appears you have forgotten. No, it's just the brakes, like, are the gears. I can ride the bike. Just can't figure out the gears. Yeah, well, this is the first bike I've ever had that has gears on it. Really? Yeah. The heck? Growing up, it just had like pedal bikes with just brakes, right? And so, obviously these run, one runs the front gear, and then one runs the back, right? So it just shifts the, the chain, you know, on those different levels, but trying to know which one to go into is the, is the key, you know? It's pretty tricky. So you got these two little levers right here, one, takes it up, the other takes it down, up, down. This one runs the front, this one runs the back. But how do you know exactly how you want those? I'm just like, it's like how I play video games. I just start clicking buttons, <laughs> right? Just... That works. <laughs> and then the chain just starts moving. Maybe that's what happened last time when I had to take it back in there. The chain was moving too quick up and down the, the different levels. Maybe. On the sprockets. Maybe we should have asked him for a little rundown on the gears while we were in there. Just. A... They're not the kind of people you want to ask that to, right? There's too many other people around that really know what they're doing. They're going to be like, you're an idiot. So maybe you we'll should just... have learned this when you were like five years old. <laughs> maybe we'll just YouTube it. It's a good idea. All right, let's take them for a ride. How's it riding? Oh, it's riding pretty smooth. It's just still you know, working through those gears. You know what my friends used to call me, Terry? What's that? Papa. Papa? Yeah, Papa, Papa Willie. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> you ever take it off any sweet jumps? Have I? <laughs> no, not this one, but I will if you want me to. I'd love to see it. Let's find the right jump. We're right over here. Oh, we actually found one. <laughs> you know the best part about this bike, too? What's that? The brakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you just ejected yourself off that thing. All right, you guys have seen me pop a wheelie and go off a curb. It's now to see Terry do both. 
Let's see your Willie. My Willie? Yep. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's two inches, two and a half maybe. Uh, let's find a curb for you. There is one right there. You just passed it. It's not the best curb. Oh, it's a good curb. <laughs> you crash. It's been a while since I've ridden a bike, right? I'm not as confident as I used to be. I just got to pull up and lean back. Sometimes I feel like I'm younger at heart than I my body is. And then I do things and I'm like, crap. That hurt. <laughs> so did that one hurt? Guys, it is good to have the bikes back, but now the problem is going to be just getting Terry to go with me often enough. Oh, please. To, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm always like rearing to go, like exercise, whatever. Right. And it's you that I have a hard time getting outside. <laughs> That's a lie, folks. <laughs> so, well, we're going to try to use these bikes. Uh, I find biking a lot more fun than just running. Yes. Uh, some people love rowing. That's fine. I like to bike. It's quicker. Uh, Less Keeps painful on your joints. And less painful, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, hopefully get some good use out of these bikes this summer. Guys, thanks for watching. We love you. And we'll see you guys back here tomorrow.